Well, for two seasons, audiences have tuned in to see forensic scientist Dexter Morgan bring an off-handed form of justice to the streets of Miami as he moonlights as a vigilante serial killer in the hit Showtime series, Dexter. I know who you are. I know what you are. Once. Once I made a horrible mistake and I paid the price for it. I did my time. But I'm not like that anymore. I learned my lesson. I've changed. Well, you haven't changed. It's impossible. We are what we are. Michael C. Hall is Dexter. Good morning, sir. Good morning. This season opener, which airs Sunday night, opens with a real bang because for the first time, you kill someone that you did not vet. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Dexter shows up to kill uh, a victim who he has vetted, and that victim, uh, potential victim, is in the midst of a fight with someone, and Dexter finds himself in a life or de death uh, struggle with someone he's never seen before, and he has no choice but to do him in. But then it really turns his world upside down. Yeah, the, uh, the person he kills, it turns out, is the brother of a very high-powered uh, Miami politician. Played uh, by? Or, or DA, actually, played by Jimmy Smits, who's a, a guest throughout the season and is a fantastic guy and an incredible actor. What is it that drives Dexter to kill? He's killing bad guys, but what makes him think he has the right to do this? Well, he has, um, he sort of reconciled himself to what is an undeniable compulsion in him to kill. And uh, he, he doesn't um, preoccupy himself with the idea of rehabilita re rehabilitating himself. He, he just uh, tries to take responsibility for that compulsion or that affliction by uh, going after people who are arguably deserving. Talk to me about the way he lives his life under the code of Harry. Harry mm -hmm. being his foster dad that raised him. Right. Um, he kind of fools himself that he's living by this code. Yeah, well, he's um, come to discover some things about his father that aren't so savory and has sort of rejected his father but retained the code, and the code is his and his alone, and I think a lot of what happens over the course of the third season is we see Dexter playing fast and loose with the what were once the rigid rules of the code and taking some liberties and discovering that the code serves him a little more effectively than he might have uh, had realized. And um, he, he gets in hot water almost immediately, which is kind of what we like to see, I think. What is this code? Well, it... Um, it's, it's, um, it's one that was instilled in him uh, by his father. His father suggested to Dexter when he was young that while his compulsion to kill was undeniable, he could take responsibility for it. So it, on the one hand, is about not getting caught, avoiding detection, doing things right, uh, leaving no trace. And on the other hand, it's about uh, targeting victims who are arguably at least deserving. Dexter goes after killers. You could argue that he's uh, preventing more deaths than he's causing. Yeah, he's a good he's a good killer. Yeah, he's taking out the bad off the streets. That's right. And finally, the the season opener, the last scene. We're not going to give it away, but people have to stay tuned because there's a big reveal. There's a big surprise in the yeah, very last De scene. Dexter is uh, finding himself in uncharted waters on all fronts uh, in his domestic life as well. Well, Michael C. Hall, we love your work, oh, and especially thanks. on Dexter. Thank you so much. Good luck with the new season.